this is an unusual model. This model was designed to emphasize some of the structures of the abdomen, and in doing so, they had to cut things away. For example, attached right about here and sitting here should be the stomach, and attached to this uh, brownish red structure should be the rest of the liver, but those things are gone. Attached here should be the rest of the small intestine and that is gone as well. But it does emphasize some structures. Let's start with the fact that this tube here, this tube is called the duodenum or the duodenum. Duodenum or duodenum. And this structure that's in this pinky, peachy color, this is the pancreas. Right? The bright green bag here this bright, bright green structure, this is the gall bladder. These on either side are the kidneys, the right kidney and the left kidney, and sitting on top of the kidneys are the adrenal glands. This guy sitting over here, that is your spleen. But this is the digestive system, so we are going to be focused mostly on the duodenum, the pancreas, the tubes that are inside of the pancreas, the gallbladder, and the tubes that are attached to the gallbladder. So the duodenum. The duodenum is this mixing area, and it will receive food coming from the stomach. Remember, the stomach would have been right here. It's receiving food from the stomach. Then it is receiving digestive enzymes from the pancreas, and the pancreas is going to send those powerful digestive enzymes through this tube called the pancreatic duct. It's represented here in white, and that tube is going to send the digestive enzymes into the duodenum right here at the major duodenal papilla. At the same time, the pancreas will be sending buffers like sodium bicarbonate into the duodenum. Simultaneously, the liver and the gallbladder will be sending a substance called bile into the duodenum. That substance called bile is actually a very dark green color, so these areas are uh, depicted as green. Now, this is part of the liver. It would be attached to more of the liver, and we have got the right bile duct and the left hepatic duct joining together to form the common hepatic duct right here. That common hepatic duct is not very long. This is the gallbladder and the gallbladder will be attached to the common hepatic duct right here by the cystic duct. Where the cystic duct joins the common hepatic duct, this tube is called the common bile duct. One place that's easy to see the common bile duct is this bright green part here. Bile would be coming from the gallbladder and the liver to the common bile duct, down the common bile duct, and going into the duodenum through the major duodenal papilla.